Stitch Cuties. I'm Brittany with Stitches of Love Quilting and in this video tutorial we are going to open our box two of our Hop To It Block of the Month and use our embroidery machine to make this super cute Bennett Bunny which is our second block out of our entire quilt. So you'll have your background fabric from your kit. You have the adorable coral circle um, fabric in your kit. I'm using backup fabric that are these little um, what are they called? cross stitch print from Lori Holt, but you have the adorable circles. And so what I've done is on the side, I've organized my thread colors in order of appearance according to the pattern. And then on the left, I've read my pattern and I've put my prefuse laser cut applique pieces in order of appearance. And I do want to remind you a fun trick with your applique pieces, especially something like a little flower or something where you might not know which direction it's gonna go when you put it on your piece. You can use your placement guide, put this in place, simply pick it up and immediately flip it over and give yourself a little arrow to remind yourself that this is up. That way, when you go to put your flower on, you don't have to go like doot, 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 doot. Which way does it go? You'll have that nice reminder for yourself before you get to your actual project. So let's get started with our white thread loaded on our machine. We have our background fabric prepped and ready. We have our um, eight by 12 hoop with our Sulky Tear Easy Stabilizer in it. So let's load that file and get started stitching. Okay, so the first thing that stitches on our hoop is a line across the top and the bottom. I like to turn my hoop sideways to fit on my steady Betty and fit nicely in the camera for you. So you are gonna take your super cute circle print fabric and you're gonna center it in your hoop and then make sure that it's extended past that top and bottom stitch line and you have plenty of extra fabric that we're ultimately gonna trim away at the end because we trim this down to eight inches once we're done stitching. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of tape to hold this in place and then our machine is gonna give us our first round of applique outlines in the center and it's also going to do those straight lines that ultimately will be a help for us when we're trimming our block and also hold our fabric securely in place in the hoop. Okay, so now we have our first round of applique outlines. Again, I'm turning my hoop sideways to fit on my steady Betty. And you wanna pay attention to the order in which you put these down. And you wanna do numerical order because there are areas where there's over and under lap. So first up, we're gonna start with piece number one. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape so I don't accidentally get my iron on it. Don't want a gooey iron. So piece number one. And the bottom of this piece is gonna go right along that guideline at the bottom. There we go. Now piece number two is his right arm, just like so. There we go. Now we'll put, and if you, look, I feel like I got that a little out of place while it's still wet. Just kind of wiggle it. See, I didn't quite hit that line. There we go, while it's hot, wiggle it over. Now we're gonna put piece number three so we'll get this in place. Again, the bottom goes right along the bottom line that we're gonna use ultimately as our trim line. Now we will do, we're gonna jump up to the ears, number four. And I'm gonna go on and lay number five in place too. I can iron them both at the same time. There we go. And give them a press. Now we'll put the face on piece number six, and you can see it overlaps on the body. And you just work your way over, making sure that it's in place everywhere. Looking good. Wiggle it just a little bit. I like it. Now I'm going to work from one side to the other. There we go. And now the final piece of this step is piece number 11. You can see this is one where I gave myself a little arrow. So the top is right there. I'm gonna peel the paper backing and voila, it's easy to get that right in place without having to spin it around. So there we go. So now we'll keep the white thread on our machine for the next step. And our machine now is gonna do step number 10 for us, and it's gonna stitch the outline of pieces seven and eight, which is the cute little nose and then the first layer of the hat. Okay, so we have that round of applique outlines. So we're gonna start with the cute little nose right there. 
Oh my gosh, I love these little bunnies on this quilt. They're so cute. And then the fun hat at the top for Bennett, little Bennett bunny. And then again, when you have something like long or lanky, just to make sure you keep it in place while you iron it. So now we have two more steps to go before we start doing all the fun colors. So the next step is going to be step 12 and our machine is going to give us the outline of piece number nine. Okay, so we have just one flower piece to put in place. This is our top, right? Because I have it turned sideways. So remember I did my arrow, so I'm going to face my arrow to the top and then remove my backing and that way my flower goes right in place. So just make sure you've got it touching all the petals just so. I like it. Let's give it a press. Now we have one more applique outline to go. Okay, so let's put that last applique piece in which is our flower center. And again, this is the top and I drew my arrow. So I'll point it towards the top of my design. And that way this little oval, which is not a perfect oval, it's kind of like wonky on one side, that will be perfectly in place because I use my placement guide on paper to help guide me. So now for steps 16 through 20 in your pattern, we are going to be doing all of the fun stitching on our block. I'm gonna take my hoop on and off so I can simply talk to you about the thread colors and show you what your hoop should look like and what's being stitched. However, for you at your embroidery machine, for those steps 16 through 20, keep your hoop on the machine. You don't need to take it off at all. So let's put on 1056 medium tawny tan onto our machine and all of our bunny pieces are gonna stitch one through six. So the left and right arm, the body, the face, and the two ears. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is like my favorite part when you start seeing the stitching. Can we talk about how perfect? It just delights me. I have so much fun watching the machine stitch and I especially love it. So I digitize all of this for you from um, Julie's work on the quilt and then from Amy's artwork. And when I digitize it, I love when I can make it go for a long time without doing a knot and having it do all of that at one time just delights me. So the nerdy side of me in digitizing is just so giddy about stitching this. I love this quilt. Okay, enough about that. So now we're going to load um, 1019 Peach. This is step 17 and our cute little bunny nose is gonna stitch next. Now the little bunny nose is all stitched, so cute. Now we're going to load such a beautiful color. This is 1293 Deep Nassau Blue, and the outside of our hat will stitch. All right, you look at your perfect little hat. <laughs> that really is a fun color. It really brightens and matches in with the dots on that print, it's super cute. So now we're going to load 1045 light teal and the outside of our flower will stitch next. Okay, take a look. The outside of your flower is stitched. Now we have just one final color to put on and that is the 1039 red. So the inside of your flower and then your cute little star over on the right will stitch next. Okay, so now everything is stitched. Let's look from top to bottom. Oh my goodness. So cute little Bennett bunny. Now a reminder, you're like, where are his eyeballs? Those eyeballs are going to come in your finishing kit and they are buttons. So look at the bottom of your placement guide. There's a reminder, buttons for Bennett bunny's eyes are included in your box 14 finishing kit. So after you have everything put together and quilted, you'll do your embellishments, which include all of the little eyeballs for all the characters on this quilt. So next up, step 21, you're gonna remove the stabilizer from the back of your block and use the top and bottom line as a guide, but you're ultimately gonna trim this to eight inches square. So you have eight inches stitched from top to bottom. Your side lines though are only seven and a half inches. So make sure you use your rulers when you're measuring and measure that eight inches. And you also have your block guide as a guide as well to make sure you get your little bunny centered perfectly when you're trimming. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to stitch the block three. I don't remember which bunny is block three, but it's gonna be so much fun next month to stitch together. So happy stitching.